But now that we have this in here, we have this guy set up, this guy set up, so we can put this in here and flip the lever. Is it? Oh! We already got some. Look at you. Look at you. Oh my goodness, it's working. It's totally working. We have a long distance. Long range quarry is functional. We're doing the things. <laughs> What's up, people? I'm Zog, and welcome back to Ratcraft Unf uh, what the uh, Ratcraft Unstable. There we go. This is a weird-looking tree. By the way, you can suffocate yourself in this tree. All right, so you can just move, like, right through it, which is really funny. Uh, yeah, we found this out before. Also, these top parts are disconnected, and I don't know why. Pretty sure they're still part of the tree. It's just, uh, it's just a little bit weird. You're a weird tree. Tree thing. Look, you can go in through the side, but I don't think you can go in through the bottom. Oh, ow. Oh, ow. Yep, can't go up. I'm holding space right now. But you can go in through the side of the tree. So anyway, um, yeah, this is our quarry. This quarry was finished. We, we mustered through it. We got it done. There is a better alternative. Paul Rue commented a couple of times. I had to tell him to cool it, you know? Just because you comment one video doesn't mean something's going to happen in the next one. You gotta wait a little while. You gotta be patient. Gots to be patient. But I did take a look at what he was telling me, and it's really cool. And I'm also gonna use a couple other things that other people told me, um, and they were mentioned by other people. When we get to them, I'll, I'll try to look up who it was and stuff. You guys know I like to give credit to, you know, where it's due and all that good stuff. So anyway, uh, what we're gonna be looking into, what, what Paul Rue mentioned was the RF quarry. The RF tools quarry is totally a thing because if you look at our of tools it has the builder block builder block this block is linked blah 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 it does things right but what you can do is you can hook up a shape card inside get a clearing quarry card and basically it'll do this it'll do this this is a thing that it will do um and I'm thinking it might be faster, it might be able to accept more energy, it might be able to do this, it might be able to do that. There's some really cool things in here. It's not too incredibly difficult to get, but <laughs> yeah, we need these things. We need to go make some of these things. Also, another thing that was mentioned that we're going to be using, and I'll say who mentioned it here in a little bit, once I take a cut and actually look things up, <laughs> is the power cell. There's two versions from what I can tell. There's an advanced power cell and other than the storage, I'm not sure what the difference is. I don't know if the bigger one can transfer more across distances than this one, but we're going to start with this guy and we're going to see what happens. I don't know what kind of a limit it has, uh, but if we can put one of these directly beside our thing here and put the other one directly onto our quarry, we can do it that way. The other thing that I want to use is extra utilities pipes extra 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 okay i always say that when it's extra utilities but you have the transfer pipes from extra utilities and basically what you can do with this you do this and you get a whole bunch of speed upgrades and guess what one pipe can take out all of this really 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 fast and this is one that i forgot about i should have known it because i use extra utilities pipes uh, a lot I, l I prefer ender io normally but i like i like extra utilities as well extra utility i ain't got nothing against the extra utilities but yeah so what we need to do is start making these things and then we're going to learn how to set it up and do the stuff and we're going to make a quarry and we're going to do some things so the other crystal that we already made and that's going to be pretty amazing it's going to be pretty great but uh yeah for now let me go ahead and set some things up let me get some things built and made and stuff and i'll see you back oh it's dark oh it, oh it's bright okay we're good all right, so I've made a bunch of things. Now you see, I did take this down. We need to collect all that stuff, but before we do this, yeah, before we do this, what we wanna do, what I wanna do, I'm getting some extreme radiation for that stuff over there. It's kinda crazy. Anyway, what do we wanna do is we wanna test this stuff. Now I did go ahead and make it real quick. Here's the pattern for this guy. Pretty simple, not very difficult. Power cells, I had to make two of these. These guys, which we've already discussed in the past. Just some quartz on side of this. I set one of those up over at my Batania area, so we got those. Not a big deal. Everything else, yeah, might be a little expensive, but you can plainly see it right there. Um, this guy right here, also machine frame. Yeah, also simple. Chest, blah, blah, blah. Shape cards, this with glass around it. Then this guy is this, and then this guy is this, just like that. 
it's not too difficult. It's not too incredibly expensive. I made it all fairly quickly. It's really not that big of a deal. Uh, the upgrades were a little bit of a thing, just because uh, block of redstone. Yeah, we know we have. I have that. I have gold. Not too much of it anymore, but I do have some. This guy right here requires the resonator, and it requires weighted pressure plates, which is more gold, which is kind of a pain, and it's time consuming. So you have to wait a while before you can actually get a decent amount of these guys. Now I haven't set any more up. I only have 12, so hopefully that's fast enough. If not, we can always get our other pipes back uh, pretty quick. But what we have are the pipes were a, uh, a mention by Pig Nuggets, which I think is a pretty interesting name. That's pretty cool. Pig Nuggets, thank you for the suggestion, the reminder, really, of uh, extra utilities pipes. I totally forgot about them for item transfer, and uh, it's totally a thing. So thank you for that. Also, uh, Wild Rascal is the one who recommended the power cells here. Uh, now, I don't know which one's more powerful or if you can transfer more wirelessly uh, with the upgraded, the advanced power cell. Not entirely sure how that works or if it's just the storage amount that is increased, but worst case, we just have to upgrade these guys and we should be good to go. But what we want to do is go ahead and set this guy up, the builder. First of all, bam, builder. Got it. Okay, so this right here, what in the world? Hold, um, let's just try to shift click. Uh, e not power cell, this guy, shift. Oh, okay, so that's the shape card. We got that current... Um, cool. Current level of builder is that. Okay, so set the building mode. Oh, moving blocks make sound. Block sounds are muted. Okay, yes. Support preview mode disable. Oh, oh! I don't know what the heck just happened. Ho, ho, ho. I started suffocating. Oh, there we go. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Okay, so I guess by default it's in the middle of this thing. That's weird. Hey. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. Huh. Oh. Entities are not moved. <laughs> uh, okay. Do a single run and stop. Yes, do that. What are you? Boor oh, set the horizontal rotation angle. That's interesting. Builder at northwest corner. Builder at northeast corner. Builder southwest. Builder at... Uh, I don't know. Can we just like, I know it says shift right click to set this stuff um, or something like that, right? Does Isn't that what it says? Whoa, things. Um, builder. Builder structure. Wait, um, hold on. If we, this guy, sneak right click on builder to start mark mode, then right click to mark two corners of wanted area. But that didn't happen. Because we sneak right click, it just opens this. So can we like mark and mark? It didn't work. It didn't do anything. It doesn't say. It's not doing this. What? I'm so confused. Do you have to have power first maybe? Do you need the power? All right, let's try this wireless transmission thing. All right, let's go ahead and set these guys up. I'm gonna get some radiation for sure, but eh, whatever. I'm just gonna get hungry. So we have this guy right here, storage. Oh, it's not accepted, it doesn't have any, it's not getting power from this directly. It doesn't directly interface with it, I guess. Cause this has lots of power, this doesn't have any. So can we, bam, link. Did you link? You have to get power first. Okay, so we need the energy pipe. We do need ener, all right, let me go get an energy pipe. We'll see by hooking this guy up. Okay, so I did have the pipes hooked up. I'm not entirely sure. First of all, let's see what happens when we break this. Does it save its stuff? It does not. Or no, this is the one. Okay, so yeah, this one has that. All right, let's see if this guy can do it. Basically, you have to set all sides. Set all sides to none. Set all sides to accept energy. Set all sides to send energy. So let's set them all to accept there. Yeah, okay, so it does interface with it. That's not a big deal. Um, it's now got... 500,000 RF in this guy. So if we put this in here, can you use the link power cell? This is unlinked. Can we do it? Do the thing. Out. In. <laughs> Work. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Link. How do we make you link? 
I don't get it. Isn't it supposed to like go across when you're done or something? Does it have to charge? Does it have to link ID three? Oh, okay. So we just have to set it there and it gets it. If you put it down here, it unlinks it. Okay. All right. No, 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 we're fine. All right. Let's try to put the other side over here, which it already has some power. So that's cool. That's fine. I get it. It's going to have to do this and all sides are out. So this guy should get and there it goes. It's getting it now. It is getting energy now and it's, this guy is draining. So that's perfect. You should now stop. But if we put this in here, all oh, you're unlinked. It says you're unlinked. Are you gaining power? You're not getting power. You're not. What? Link. What the heck? So I guess, huh? Okay, so now you're link ID four. So if we go over here, where do we put you? Here? Are you sending power? I don't think you're sending any power. You're not. Okay, so how do we get you to work, thing? So we have link ID four is still there. You? Do we put it in that one? I don't see anything coming out. So that doesn't seem to be a thing. Not at all. You're not gaining any power. Gain your power, thing. Huh. Here? That unlinks it. I don't understand. Unlinked. Link ID 5. Okay, so now we still have link ID 5. Oh. Can we shift on this guy? Does it tell? No, it doesn't tell us anything. Doesn't say a thing. Oh wait, link a powered power card to card on left. <laughs> but this doesn't work, it's not. So confused. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. And I wanna say for the record, MC Jetty, I am not alone. I am not alone because MC Jetty made a video of his own and the reason he made the video is because people got confused about this setup. So I am not alone, peeps. I am not stupid, okay? I am, I I can be sometimes. I, 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 I grant you that. But uh, anyway, so moving on, the way this to get this guy works, basically, what you gotta do is first, you have to put one up in here, which apparently needs a refresh or something so you can like reopen it. ID six, got it. So then afterwards, you take a second one to link it to this. Now they're both ID six. So then you can take that one out and bring it to your other one, just like this, and then put that one in here to register it as also ID six and that way they are sharing. And as you see up in the top, instead of 500,000 RF, I, we now have 1 million because there's two of them in the network. It is a technically a multi-block structure. And I really love that MC Jetty, by the way, learn how to say the name MC Jetty. <laughs> he's, he's great. I like RF tools is really awesome. I like it. Apparently. Yeah, it's a thing. So anyway, um, is, I don't even know if it's made by MC, MC Jelly, but that's the person that said it. I'm pretty sure, like, as soon as he said it, I was like, that's how you say that name. But anyway, I don't know. Well, well yeah, this is words. So, anyway, now that we have this, we can actually make more. We can transfer energy to other places, and we have a maximum storage that is even larger. So we can basically just use these guys as our energy storage all over the friggin' world. So we can have like 800 of these blocks and we'd have so much energy storage, it would be absolutely ridiculous. But for the moment, we do have, we are maxed. This guy should be not, whoa. Oh, oh, there's also another thing. I didn't go get that. Let's just bring you along for this one because it is something I didn't do. Uh, oh wait, what? Whoa, I zoomed, whoa. See, zooms apparently, break one. I'm zooming. C is also a zoom of some kind. Did you see that? It like, I don't know, it was weird. It's glitching. I don't know what, oh, I know what that is. That's Optifine. I put in Optifine, peeps. 
And that is my proof that it's actually there, which is probably why Densaurus is not crappy anymore. Optifine 1.8.9, it does work, apparently. I couldn't really notice too much of a difference. I guess my graphics card was just decent, but I, I don't know. I feel like it's better. I feel, I feel like it's better. But anyway, so, uh, what was that? Oh, I remember now. Smart wrench. Smart wrench is a thing from RF Tools that helps with stuff. So let's just grab one of these guys real quick, and then we're gonna go back over, meow, number two, and be like, Boop. wee, super speed, Boop. yay, more super speed. Boop. Oh, so, oh, oh, we hit iron. Okay, anyway, so what we can do is we can pick this guy up, right, Sha. right, Sha. and this is how you set one side only, rather than in the inside the, uh, the thing here, to set all of them as something, you get the smart wrench, and you click on one side and it lets you set it. So that's pretty cool. Now, this guy, actually, we need him to be output. And then we can put this guy back down, and he will be getting energy! Energy! Oh, you, wow, you can store 10 million? Are you kidding me? That is a lot. That is a huge amount. It's huge! So now, if we shift right click, I still don't know how to set it, though. I don't get it. Set the horizontal rotation angle, shape, box, dimension, offset, sneak right click on builder to start mark mode, then right click to, to mark two corners. I don't understand. Shift right click with what? Do we have to do something in particular? We don't want copy. We don't want any of this. We like, oh, see now this, these settings are like taking a, we can't set you though. Why can we not set you? I guess this is only if you use certain shape cards or something, but since we do this, none of this is important anymore. We have to set it. Is there a builder? Here we go. All right, so builder is one of the most versatile machines in our tools that can do move a structure from one spot, even other dimension, to another, rebuild the structure from one spot to another, swap structure between two spots, build geomatic or stripes, clear out areas of structure, clear a quarry and area in a certain shape. <sighs> Breathe. A chest on top or below is sometimes needed to supply or collect blocks. Okay, so is that why we can't do it yet? Using the GUI, you can control where the builder should place the blocks, always to the back of the builder. So place the blocks always at the back. This only works for space cards. Other GUI options. This is the builder. Okay, so moving or swapping. Space chamber. Okay, hold on. You can use space chamber blocks to mark the corners of the source area you want to work. One of these corners should be space chamber. Okay, so let me see about this stuff. I got it. Basically, you have to take your shape card and in the shape card, while holding it, you shift right click on the builder with that in your hand. And then you select the first corner and then you select the second corner. Now I'm imagining this is what it's going to do. It's, it's just going, basically what you have is, is from that corner in here. So it's not gonna go all the way down to bedrock or anything. It's just gonna get in the middle here, and I'm pretty sure that's what it's gonna do. But this is this is our test. This is what we're testing. So we put that guy in there, and now all the settings are in this guy. Shape solid box. Oh, by the way, if you just right click in the area, you can set this stuff, uh, which is really cool. You can have solid box. There's a lot of options in here, actually. Solid sphere, solid cylinders. Solid sphere. Um. Where was it? Box, top down. I missed it. I missed it somewhere. It was somewhere in here. It was somewhere, but you can do a lot of shapes in here. Solid box, there we go. And then you can actually have it void things. Like you have void stone, void cobble, void dirt, which is perfect. I kind of want the gravel. I don't know why. I just kind of do. It's a thing. Uh, sand, same deal. Netherrack, we're not going to run into, so it doesn't matter. And ore dictionary, what I believe this is going to do is it's going to match stone with you know granite and andesite and diorite which we already have plenty of so i went ahead and i went ahead and selected that guy now this should be good to go i shouldn't have to reset that because everything is still saved solid box dimension blah 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 offset blah 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 so it's got all that settings stored now we should just have to go ahead bloop. i don't know if it's going to do it i don't know how it's doing it how it's choosing if it's starting or whatnot i don't know if it's working it is, does seem to be working, Y81, Y80, Y90, okay, so it's, oh, there it goes, oh, wow, look at that thing, look at the, looky, 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 that is ridiculously fast, oh, man, oh, wow, that is so quick, oh, look at this, we're getting everything, we're getting all the stuff, 
Oh, you're supposed to avoid the dirt. What are you doing, man? What? You're supposed to avoid dirt. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're getting a lot of dirt and everything, too. Oh, wow. That is so cool. I don't know if we can hold it all. Look at all the coal. Already? Wow. This is cool, man. Look, gravel. Ha, 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 ha. I don't know. Is it going to go back and get that? I wonder if it'll go back and get that. I'm not sure. It's run probably running out of power, actually. Are you? Yeah, you're you're now you're out of power power All right, so what we're gonna do uh, We're gonna just uh, Come here you just go just power up We're gonna let you go for a little bit so it can actually get power We're gonna see how fast it builds up despite the fact that it's getting power. This guy should be gaining. Are you gaining? Yes, you are gaining. All right, perfect. So now you're going Where are you? Are you done? Oh, you might be done. Now you're at 89, it says. Are you done? Does it tell me when you're done? Oh, you're going over here. Should be going over here. Where are you? I don't see you. What? What is happening? Huh, <laughs> what? Oh, I picked up a thing. Are you done? Are you finished? Are you finite? Yeah, it looks like you're done now. All right, no, that's cool, man. All right, so let's turn you off for now. Uh, you're not using anymore. Let's see how much. Yeah, you are still building power. So it does go very, very, very fast, which is really cool. But it doesn't go as fast as all the energy you can give it like the quarry does. Like The quarry will just continue to speed up the more energy you give it, which I kind of like. But at the same time, this thing is not slow by any means. It is not slow. So what we want to do is go ahead and hook up something a little more. And now the other issue with this is that in order to get it to go all the way down like we want it to from top to bottom, like a hole like this, is we have to actually dig all the way top to bottom, which isn't too big of a deal with my little thing here. I can just do earth dig and go straight down pretty easily. But, you know, it's a thing. So let me go ahead and set some things up real quick. Let's get these guys, transport these guys over here. Let's go ahead and turn this guy off. I'm sure he's maxed out now. Yeah, you're maxed out. Come here, you. But, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and collect all these guys, set up another system just like we had before, put all these things in, all this good stuff, and see what we can actually get, uh, make happen with this guy. This going to be pretty cool. Long distance quarry test. Check this out. Okay, so since when I set this guy up, I didn't, like, the, this guy did not have to be right near the area that I selected, right? So what I want to see is if I can keep this stuff at my base, just like this, just like you would expect. And anytime I want to move my quarry, I just take the card out and I go wherever it is I want to try to quarry. And we're going to try to go all the way over here because if I can go this far, I'm pretty sure I can go anywhere. But we're just going to try it here. And what we're going to do, this is the next test for us to see how well this stuff works. Uh, we, eh, we'll we work on the power situation. Obviously, we can put this anywhere with this stuff too. I believe the, the further... Uh, distance you bring this is the uh, that that would be the problem like the longer distance it is the more it takes from the transfer or the more power you lose in transfer or something like that but what we're just gonna do what we're gonna do here is oh I have to write crapo I have to right click on the freaking all right let me dig first hold on hold on let me go ahead and get everything set up that I need to be over here so let me go ahead and go we want to go down here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and take care of it and I'll see you back here in a second. All right. The settings are chosen in a hole all the way down there, all the way to this corner right here. And we're going to go back over this way. As you see, my power system has been moved. I have reconfigured it just a little bit and it's a lot closer to base, but it's not too close to base. It's right over here. This is our new power system. We got our power cell there. I've reconfigured this, so it looks like a little more like stairs. It's kind of cool. Got a crystal here. We can always throw a second one here. This guy's going to be dying sometime soon. We got our timer hooked back up, which there is another way to do this. It's the RF monitor, but since this way's already hooked up, we're not going to worry about that too much. Uh, but uh, the other way would work as well. It's for also from RF tools. But now that we have this in here, we have this guy set up, this guy set up. So we can put this in here and flip the lever. Is it? Oh, we already got some. Look at you. Look at you. Oh my goodness. It's working. It's totally working. We have a long distance. Long range quarry is functional. We're doing the things. Why are you not doing that? Hold on. Let's turn you off. Take out this guy. You're supposed to be voiding dirt. Look, void dirt, man. We don't want the dirt. Do the or dictionary copy thing. Yes, go. All right. 
start again. Sheesh! Do the, do what you're supposed to do. All right? It's going. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's so crazy. Oh wow, this this is really cool. This is really cool. All right, we need to see with the current settings on this guy, are we losing power? Or are we gaining too much power? Etc. Etc. All right, we're there now. You're gonna tick back over. I'm gonna get hungry here in a second. I know this. I don't know. It seems like it's going uh, pretty well. I think we might be going down. Yeah, I think we're gonna, gonna end up going down too far. We are losing power. So we need to increase the timer so that it stays active for longer to recuperate the, the difference. Uh, let's try 170. So that way it'll stay active for longer. It'll generate back more and we can see. Anyway, I'm going to play with this timer for a little bit, but uh, we'll see. For now, it's, it, it's okay. It's still going for now, but it was getting it. I was totally getting it. Now, I don't know if the whole chunk loading thing is going to be an issue or not. It's supposed to have started in here somewhere. I don't see where it started at. Did it start at the bottom corner or something? Whee! I don't see where it started. I just don't. I don't I don't see. I does not see where it started. <laughs> I don't know where where what? What are you? Where you start? Did you like start in the middle or something? I'm confused. I'm a little confused. I don't know. We're going to let this go for a little bit. I'm going to see what it looks like when we're done. But it does seem like you saw the supplies going into our little setup over here. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure this, this whole thing works. I'm pretty sure it is. How much are you going up in power? Yeah, you're going up in power. Right, we should be okay with that. We should be good with that. But we are getting things. You see it? We, we are getting it. Including the dirt, which we're not supposed to. MC Jitty. I think that's how you pronounce your name. It's, uh... Not actually voiding the dirt, buddy. Not sure why. Anyway, so yeah, we're getting stuff. It's pretty cool, peeps. Long distance quarry for the win. You know, the weird thing about this, you see how low this is going? You see this, you do see supplies coming in. Like they are coming into the system. That is happening. It is, we are getting supplies this way. It's really interesting how this is happening. Because if we go over to where we're, we're quarrying, and yes, we are losing energy as well. That is totally a thing that's happening as well. But if we go over to where we were, we're not going to see a hole. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I was like, whoa, that's a big hole. We uh, Oh, it is. Oh, look at that. Okay. All right, see, it's doing this one, but it didn't seem to get this one. So that is really weird. That is a really weird thing. I don't know why it's doing that like that. That is really kind of weird because it wasn't getting this one. It didn't seem like it was because we go all the way down here. And for example, if it was like there's a cave down here. I was thinking maybe there's some kind of a border around it. There's a cave around here somewhere that I can. Well, I guess it's up some. But there is a cave around here that I can like go through and the blocks just weren't, they're, they're not missing. But this is where I quarried. I know it is. Like this whole area, I selected from that corner all the way to the bottom of this one. This whole area should be gone. But it's not. This one's leaving though. This one is going bye bye So that's that's a good thing, I suppose. There's this, this setup here. That's done now. Apparently I got a little bit of this already finished quarry but anyway it doesn't really matter i don't know this is weird this is kind of weird because i selected this corner over here i totally selected yeah like i went down right here this is where i went down and i selected from over here so it was between this and this and somehow that's making it quarry way over here i don't understand that concept I think the coordinates are off. Like it's not getting the proper dimensions or area, which is really weird. So basically, if you do this, just be mindful of that. Be mindful that it might not get the right area. So just kind of make sure you're way, 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 way out of the way if you're going to do this. But anyway, anyway, moving on. All right, all right. So for the last little bit of this episode i wanted to go ahead and address one of Thelona's comments now Thelona has been around for a very very long time um all the way back to bear roots if any of you know what bear roots is then you're a long-term subscriber let's just face it the videos i did there were uh 
how can I say this without making myself sound? They were crappy, <laughs> basically. They weren't done all that well. I, don't, I mean, I was I was new. You know, that was all the way back. I didn't even have a hundred subs yet when I when I started on Bear Roots. I had like twelve. Like, so I'm talking all the way back. And um, now I don't know exactly when Thelona subscribed or anything like that, but it was around that time period. So this is definitely something I want to go ahead and address. Uh, you know, another opportunity to thank one of one of my long-term subs. Now, Velona asked, how would you say the effort reward ratio is compared to other mods power sources? And he was asking about it for, you know, deep resonance. Deep resonance power sources are actually I was about to go all the way over there, but like oh, I'll show you. No, it's right here. Now, <laughs> deep resonance power sources this as a power source it's good like you get a lot of rf and you definitely have the capability of getting a huge a huge amount of rf from you know from this i mean this is like a halfway powered crystal so you're talking probably at the very least twenty thousand rf per tick per crystal if you can max them out at least probably more than that i'm thinking probably thirty thousand rf uh is probably about what you're gonna get now that being said, as good of a power source as it is, it's hard to monitor. It's very easy to overuse and waste energy, which I'm not a huge fan of. I like to be able to store it, and I want it to turn itself off when it's reached its capacity. This mod, at the moment, does not do that. Also, if you think about like power plants and stuff in 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 like for reals, like for really reals, IRL, like power plants. They do require a maintenance cost, right? You, you know, you got employees and stuff that have to keep their eye on it and blah, 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 all this good stuff. But that's a huge company that does that. You know, you got hundreds of people that are paid lots of money just to monitor a power system to make sure it doesn't go down, make sure it's got all the resources it needs and all that good stuff too. This is Minecraft. You're playing by yourself. You're not going to get your teammates to be like, hey, guy, can you... I mean, you can ask him to, and they probably would. I mean, we got some decent people on the server. They probably would feed it for me, but they shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have a requirement where you have to go through and you have to craft crystals every time you need to make sure you keep your energy up. That's especially when the crafting of the crystals is so ridiculous. I mean, to get a decent crystal, to get a good crystal... You have to go through a huge process to do it. Now, there is a way to automate it almost completely, but you're not going to get the best crystals by automating. Uh, it, it is possible. It is possible to get the absolute best if you know exactly what you're doing and you had infinite resources and all this other good stuff. It is entirely possible, possible to fully automate it, but the work involved in setting something like that up would just be absolutely ridiculous. Crazy. So while it is a fantastic RF generator... And it will work. It's it's not the best. It's not the best. I, I definitely prefer other other power generation. Like big reactors is a lot easier to automate, and it's pre it's pretty good. I'm, I bring that one up because that was actually mentioned in a comment that I just read like right before I started recording this clip. But anyway, so you, I mean you get the idea. Like there's there's easier ways to do it. I think that the work involved in getting this much power is is too much i think there's way too much resources required too much time required too much maintenance for it it's just it's good but it's not quite worth it i think it should you know the, the requirement should be reduced but that's just me that's that's my personal belief but that question was asked so hopefully that did uh you know answer your question Thelona. i appreciate your support uh yeah pretty much good to go but that is about all the time i have left for this episode so if you do want to see wait wait what well, hold I, me I messed it up again we might have to open the floodgate soon just just maybe maybe might do yeah but if you did like the episode don't forget to hit that like button if you want to see more you want my videos sent directly to you then don't forget to subscribe comment favorite share if you feel like you want to thanks so much for watching and i will see you next time peace out peeps